It's week 63 of Xur, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he sells, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 63 of Zerb, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of December, and remember there will be four winners, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located on the EDZ, which in this case would be Earth, by the Winding Cove. So, let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer, What's up dude? So like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Soros Regime. It is an exotic auto-rifle. Then we have the Karnstein Armless for the Warlock, the Wormhusk Crown for the Hunters, and then we have the Armamentarium for the Titans. We're going to start with the uh, Karnstein Armlets. Intrinsic perk on this is Vampire's Caress, which melee kills restore health for a short duration. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. And the ornament for this is called Gothic Horror. Unfortunately, ornaments don't come with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rate this a tier 2 in PvE, but a tier 2.5 in PvP. It's not that bad, but I really do feel like it could be better, especially with that duration where your health is actually restored, but it's still pretty good. Next is the Wormhouse Crown, and the intrinsic perk on this is Burning Souls, which... Dodging gives a small health and shield bump. Then we have bow targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands on, shotgun reserves, as well as heavy ammo finder. Now, personally, I still think the Wormhouse Crown is still good, so I still give it at least a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. It can definitely help you when uh, you're definitely low on health, uh, especially in the raid. Next is the Armamentarium for the Titans, and the intrinsic perk on this is called And Another Thing, which you gain an additional grenade charge. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Sniper Aim, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Now, if you are using any other subclass that is not the Striker, then I do like using the Armamentarium still, and the reason why I don't like the Striker with the Armamentarium is because you can still choose um, the top tree in the Striker class, if I'm correct, the top tree, that allows you to have two grenades. Now, it does not stack with that, so you are only allowed a maximum of two grenades, but you can still use it on the Striker class and choose one of the other two um, subclass trees. And I guess if you're going to use it on a different subclass tree, then the middle tree would probably be a better one to use it on. And I said probably be, be. <laughs> and I apologize for that. But I'm definitely going to go ahead and still give this a tier 2.5 in PvP. And probably, a two po uh, probably just a 2 in PvE. Because um, it still is good. I feel a lot better in PvE than it is PvP because of the Strikers subclass that you can't have um, double grenades on it. So, then we have your consumables. Five of Swords, go ahead and pick that up. And then we have your Faded Engram, which still does not give you Forsaken Exotics. Mer. Sorry about that. Hopefully, on November 27th, which is when uh, Season 5, aka Season of the Forge, starts, we will be getting... Um, Forsaken Exotics in the Faded Engram. That's a big hopefully. Not saying they're actually going to do it, but one could wish. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.